Hey guys. So we're making our own takeout tonight. We're lightening up the idea of an egg roll. And I'm just starting to work on the filling here. Uh, well, first, let me back up. If, if you missed the start of this meal, instead of wonton wrappers and then deep frying, what we did was we took large leaves of Napa and we just put them in some salted water to soften them up so we could make them into rolls. Now we're moving along to the filling. And heads up, I also have some rice cooking away over there. We toasted up the rice. When it's just about done, we're gonna toss in a ton of green onions, finely chopped scallions, and let that be our little side dish to this. In the food processor, I've got about an inch of ginger root. I'm grating that up. I got a little bit of ground pork over here and the two cups of shredded Napa, a little handful of already shredded carrots. You can get those right in the salad bar section or just peel up a carrot and grate it with one of these little handheld graters or a box grater. And I've got one egg, that's our binder. Into the food processor, I'm putting some ginger and garlic. I'm just running them over the grater so people don't bite down on a big chunk of it. They'll get a little more fine chopped and combined with the shrimp that I'm about to add in there. I have a handful of peeled, raw, deveined shrimp. I pulled the tails off. I'm gonna pop those guys into the food processor as well. And a handful of drained water chestnuts for a little bit of crunch. Then we're gonna season this up with a little soy sauce. I'm gonna add that over here into our mixing bowl. I'm gonna keep that out because we're gonna use this to make a dipping sauce later. A little splash of sherry is gonna go down in there. and a little bit of chili paste. Or you could use um, you know, a teaspoon or a third of a palmful of crushed chili pepper flakes too. Just get a little heat in there, or even hot sauce. Now we're gonna grind this up. And this is a fun, easy dinner to make, or it's a really fantastic party offering. Something people haven't seen before but you know they're gonna love it because who doesn't like an egg roll, right? There we go. Oh, I forgot my scallions. I wanted to put a little bit of scallion in there. Oh, well, I'm just gonna show you two here, so let me just combine this. You throw in a little bit of scallion when you grind everybody up, and that's cool. So you just mix this together to combine. You don't have to overwork it. And you wanna be able to portion this out into eight rolls. So when you get the meat combined with the shrimp and your veggies, score it with your hand, and then from each half you know you're gonna make four rolls, and that'll give you a bird's eye view of about how much filling to take out. Now this is kind of messy to fill these guys, but I gotta tell you, it's unusually fun. <laughs> it feels really good. <laughs> uh, so you take a couple leaves of your Napa there. I'm gonna show you two here. And as you wrap and roll, you tuck the sides in. Look how cute that little baby is. So cute. Scoop out your goop. <laughs> Stacy goop, I gotta tell you, it feels very goopy. Put it into your Napa. Tuck and roll. Tuck and roll. Now in the very same pan that I steamed the leaves in, or dropped them down and blanched them, I should say, more appropriate, we're going to add a little bit of stock. You can use vegetable or chicken stock. And then you put your bundles down in there and cover them, and you steam them like dumplings for about, oh, eight to 10 minutes. And that'll cook the filling through. And then you're gonna dip them just like egg rolls into hot mustard or duck sauce. We're gonna make a little soy dipper. It's really fun, it's super party friendly, and kids will love this dinner because kids love anything they can dip. We're gonna lift these babies right out now. You, you let them cook in just a tiny bit of stock or broth in a pot with a lid on it for about eight to 10 minutes till they're cooked through and firm. Then you transfer them to a serving platter. This is also a wonderful thing to serve at a summer party, any party in the warm months. And they're great room temperature, obviously, because you want to be able to dip them. And then for the sauces, it's a great use up for all the little packets you keep when you order takeout, right? 
How many of these things do we have in our junk drawer? So I just took a bunch of the duck sauce and a bunch of the hot sauce, put it in a little dish. Aren't you cute? Put that right alongside. And then I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make a quick little soy dipping sauce to go alongside. So I'm gonna save a little space right in the center there for this. And then because I'm serving this up as a simple dinner, I've got a little bit of rice that I toasted up and cooked up in chicken stock. I'm gonna add tons of scallions to it. I fluffed it up with a fork. Now I'm gonna stir in a lot of green onion. Pop that into a serving dish. There we go. Lovely. And then we'll take a piece of ginger. Thinly slice it and leave it at the bottom of your dip bowl. The gingery flavor will infuse in your dipping sauce. Which is so simple. You take soy sauce or tamari. Sweeten it up a little with a hit for Mr. Bear. Hello, Mr. Bear. And then a little bit of sesame oil on the top of that. And a little bit of scallion. And I always add one little splash of water just to thin it out, just a touch. Here we go. Grab a fork. Give that a little toss. Pop that in the middle. And there you go. Make your own takeout.